I'm Chen Jiuzhen from Carnegie Mellon University. I'm a graduate student in Professor Rong Chao Jin's group. In this video, I'm going to give an introduction to our perspective paper, which is about the transformation chemistry of gold nanoclusters. As we know, chemistry is about the reactions and the change of matters. The chemical reactions that happened at the molecular scale are quite precise. But the chemical reactions in the nanoscale are different, such as the nucleation and growth processes of nanoparticles. They are difficult to control and are far less precise than the organic reactions. In this perspective paper, we revealed that the precise chemical transformation can occur for nanoclusters. Nanoclusters are very small assemblies of atoms. They are usually in a size range from sub-nanometers to 2 nanometers and can include from tens to hundreds of atoms. They are usually protected by the surface ligands to prevent them from aggregation or decomposition. For example, for gold nanoclusters, they are usually protected by the solid ligands. In order to observe the precise chemical transformation at the nanoscale, one prerequisite is to have atomically precise nanoclusters as reactant, which means that in every nanocluster there are exactly the same number of atoms and the surface ligands. We have previously developed a size focusing methodology for controlled synthesis of gold nanoclusters with atomic precision. In this methodology, the most stable size is thermodynamically selected in a mixture of nanoclusters. The stable sizes are sometimes called magic sizes. By using this method, the magic sizes such as gold 25, gold 38, and gold 144 have been synthesized in large quantities and with molecular purity. This methodology is similar to the nature law, the survival of the fittest. In the size focusing, it is the survival of the most robust. The most important finding discussed in the current perspective paper is ligand exchange induced size and structure transformation reaction. We call it the Leicester reaction for short. In a typical Leicester reaction, a magic sized cluster can be transformed into another stable sizes by changing the surface ligands. For example, we have transformed a nanocluster with 38 gold atoms into a 36 gold atoms nanocluster by changing the surface solid from a linear alkane solid into a bulky aromatic solid. In the same time, the structure is changed from a bioxyhedron into a truncated tetrahedron. Due to the precise nature of the Leicester reaction, we can actually monitor the reaction and map out the reaction pathway. We found that the ostensibly simple transformation process from gold 38 to gold 36 is actually composed of four steps, including the ligand exchange, structure distortion, disproportionation, and the size conversion. The Leicester reaction uncovers the important roles of the surface ligands. We found that the sizes and structures of gold nanoclusters are quite sensitive to the subtle changes of the solid ligands. For example, by adjusting the position of the massy group in the massy benzene cell from para to meta to ortho, the magic sizes changes from gold 130 to gold 104 to gold 40. The discovery of solid ligands effect is the key to expanding the size library of gold nanoclusters, and it is probably safe to say that the ligand selects the magic sizes. The Leicester reaction is a useful tool for tuning the size and structure of nanoclusters. We have further transformed a gold 25 nanoclusters into gold 28 and a gold 144 nanoclusters into a gold 133. Nanoclusters produced by the Leicester reaction gives us a great opportunity to study their structural properties. An interesting example is the gold 133 nanocluster, which is the largest gold nanostructure identified by X-ray crystallography so far. This tiny particle contains a kaleidoscope of patterns, such as the exohedron gold core 
resembling a virus capsid. And the helical stripes in the gold sulfur interface remind us of the DNA double helix. And also the swell patterns of the carbon tails, which is just like our galaxy. The size transformation chemistry is not only a tool for nanochemists to synthesize new magic sizes, but also provide further insight into the nanoscale chemistry. This last direction opens a door for us to discover and explore the wonderful world of the nanoclusters.